Gaming Gamer here, and I have to record these um, pretty quickly and upload these pretty quickly so I can get started on Natlin. But um, here we go. So here is one of the first uh, few test runs. Um, I'm going to be, of course, test running Mulani. And then the next video, I'm going to be test running Kachina. So first off, uh, of course, is Mulani. So uh, without any further ado, let's just go on the test run. So this is just basically me trying the character blind, of course, and then just going over her kit blindly and then, uh, well, giving my final thoughts on the character. So uh, without any further ado, let's just uh, get this started, shall we? Okay. So um, the best way I could describe Mulani is that she is a hydro DPS. Yeah, a main hydro DPS. Ooh! Look at this, guys. They changed... They changed everything. What? They changed the... They changed how the test run looks. That's insane. Hold on. Alright. I guess we could just test out the new thing. Okay. Alright. It looks like we're gonna be testing out our shark and see what it does. Holy crap. This is cool. All right, so now we're just going to be doing some normal attacks. It looks like uh, that's what we have to do. All right, let's do burst. Look at those animations. They are so cool. All right. That is good. Holy crap. That's actually fun. All right. Let's do it again. All right. Looks like there's still more orbs to collect, so let's just collect more orbs. All right. Um, so far her gameplay looks pretty fun, actually. All right. And then this is our normal attack right here. We could just use it. Looks pretty good. But um, mostly all of her main damage is just probably gonna come from her elemental skill. Yeah. All right. Let's do sucrose and then do go yao yao, and then let's get some toma burst action in. All right. We can see how much damage he's able to do. All right. Oh, never mind. I guess we he died before we even got a chance to even do that. Okay. All right. Oh, these are new. These are actually new enemies. Holy crap. Okay, wait. I'll just do these real quick. Uh, sucrose burst. We can gather these uh, people up. We can do some uh, shenaniganery right there. That looks cool, though. She is actually pretty cool to play. And looks like you can surf infinitely as long as you have, like, a Natlin character. Which is pretty great. Alright. Uh, I think these are the last few enemies. Alright, let's do the burst right here. Kablamo! 165k? Are you kidding me? What? Um, okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, um, as you saw there, that's, uh, Mulani gameplay. Oh, we, we could still just do other things, I guess. They just spawned in. Yeah, but, um, as you see there, I guess we could just show off her, her kit. So, as you see there, um, she can just do- go into her shark form by going elemental skill. This is her normal attack, so one, two, three. There we go. Here's her charge. There we go. She does a baseball bat animation. Pretty nice. Um... We can see our elemental skill now. So she can just ride her shark um, right here. Let's see there. She can do normals. She can dash. And she can jump. That is all she can do. Um, if you press E again, you get off of it. Right there, as you see there. And this is her burst. We can see it right here. She sends out a shark missile and it does AoE hydro damage, as you see there. So that is her main kit in general. All of her stuff is coming from her elemental skill, where she does everything, like the attack right there. This is what you're mostly going to be seeing with Mulani right there, is her elemental skill. Well, anyways, now we can go to the Hoyle build and see what she has to offer. So, as we see here, she has max HP. Um, that is because she scales off of max HP. Uh, which is pretty great for her damage overall. This is her build. Holy crap, what? Um, yeah, that, that's a DPS build, all right. That's like, that's maximum DPS. That's a maximum DPS build right there. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised because her main weapon is crit damage and her crit rate is her level up stat. Yeah, 
So I think this is pretty much easy numbers to get as long as you have the, of course, the artifacts for it. Um, for her weapon, we have Surf's Up, which is her best weapon, of course. Max HP increase, elemental skill gets normal attack damage. Yep, it's pretty great. And also when you trigger Vaporize, you get more stacks too. So yeah, it's pretty great for her overall. But she also works well with the new Natlin Catalyst, um, which is, I think, I forgot the name of it. But it is a craftable, free-to-play weapon that you can get, which is great on Mulani. So uh, if you don't have Surf's Up, you can just craft up a free-to-play 4-star weapon, and it'll work fine for her. Um, as for artifact set, of course, this is her main artifact set. Okay, um, 40% crit rate. Okay, okay, that's why she has 80. I was like, wait, this is insane. Yeah, she has 80% because of that artifact set. Okay. Um, it looks pretty great. She gets crit rate increase. Um, but this is, I think this is just Kenichi's best artifact set. I think her best artifact set is her other artifact set. You know, the one that, um, has Night Souls. So, you can just run that too, but Obsidian Codex is pretty good too. Honestly, both of them are pretty good, honestly. I, I have, I have a hard time choosing between the two as to which artifact set is the best. But, um, well, as this is a new version update and we still don't know what our best build is, I would say just experiment, honestly. Um, Obsidian Codex gives her a 40% crit rate. The other one gives her more damage. So pick, take your pick. As for Constellation C0, of course, this is just Hoyo. Um, and then Talents, let's see, level 8. Yep, that's just standard Hoyo stuff. All right, um, it's time to go over her Talents. Um... So, her normal attack is just her normal attack. You're probably going to be using this if you don't have your elemental skill up, which is, well, as you see for the cooldown right here. Um, it is a kind of a long cooldown, because as long as you have the point limit, um, usually it's just like around 6 seconds long, or 5 seconds long. But, it's still a great cooldown though, because it doesn't last forever, which means that you can get immediately into your... Uh, your surf uh, shark, which is her night soul blessing. So you can't just immediately go into night soul blessing um, after the six seconds are up. And of course, in your night soul blessing, you're going to be doing the normal attack damage because this is going to be her main way of getting all her damage. Also, when she gets three stacks of um, Sharky's Bite, she can do more damage, which is pretty great. So yeah, um, all of her main damage stuff comes from her elemental skill. As for her elemental burst, it does AoE Hydro Damage. Yep, AoE Hydro Damage, baby. Um, which is equal to her max HP. Again, you want to build her with max HP because of, again, all of her stuff skills off of HP. Her elemental skill and her elemental burst, as you see there. And as for her passive talent, it looks like um, she can get puffers and then you can restore 20 night soul points per puffer which is pretty great so yeah um which means that she can stay on her e a bit longer which is pretty great as for her other passive talent um boom sharka laka that is her q okay so um as long as you can get uh stacks of wave chaser exploits if you have max of three stacks and when you use your burst it does 45 percent of our max hp so i guess that's the reason why it did 165,000 damage it's because of this um as long as you can get three stacks of a uh, wave chasers exploits you can just do a big 45 percent of her max hp burst which is pretty great and night realm's gift i think this is just an overall passive it's just like this one where she's able to get um felicigen and then uh, get uh, Natlin resources. Looks like for this, you just get Night Soul points, which is pretty great. And it's great for traversing through Natlin. Um, that is what her uh, thing is. Okay, now we can go over to her constellations. Looks like uh, her kit is pretty great overall. She is a great Hydro uh, DPS because of this. This just does way too much damage. Um, this The scaling is honestly ridiculous. 93% on level... Eight, yeah, and this scaling is also pretty ridiculous too. She's gonna be doing great damage, honestly. And let's see your constellations. This is me going blind, so this is just going to be, well, uh, it's just gonna be me reading these through. Okay, so let's see your constellation one. 
So the damage dealt by the first Sharky's surging bite after Mulani enters Night Soul's blessing and the shark missiles it triggers is increased by 66% on Mulani's max HP. The instance of increased damage is subject to the diminishing damage rules of Surf Shark Wave Breaker. In addition, while out of combat, Mulani's Night Soul blessing state consumes 30% less Felicigen and Night Soul points. So basically what this means is it just increases the shark missiles damage. If you don't know how to get the shark missiles by the way, um, it's through her elemental skill where she does the shark bite. If you get shark bites, she's able to shoot missiles. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, uh, as long as you could do uh, three shark bites, you can uh, launch missiles. So yeah, and um, as for the damage reduction, it's against five or more enemies. So yeah, that's the reason why. Um, it is, but 66% of her max HP is pretty great. It's really, really, really good. And it boosts her damage overall. As for C2, Mulan gains two of Surf Shark Wave Breaker's wave momentum stacks when she enters Night Soul's Blessing State. Okay, that's great. Amy says she's able to uh, launch her uh, stuff more quickly. She will gain one stack when obtaining a puffer. Okay, that's good too. She just gets she just gets more Surf Shark Wave Breaker, which means that her burst is just gonna be doing more damage. Okay. In addition, whenever Mulani obtains two puffers within a single instance of Night Soul's Blessing State, she'll recover an additional 12 Night Soul points over two seconds. This effect requires the passive talent heat resist or heat resistant freshwater floater to be unlocked first. Okay, yeah, so um, she gets more Surf Shark Wave Breakers, which uh, benefits from her talent, which means that she gets more burst damage overall, which is pretty great. And also she gets Night Soul points too, which means that she can stay on her shark even longer. Pretty great. Her C3 just increases, it looks like her elemental skill um, by three levels, which is nice. Uh, her constellation four, okay, let's see what it does. Mulani regenerates eight energy when obtaining a puffer. Must first unlock the passive talent, heat resistance, fresh water floater. Additionally, boom sharka laka deals 75% increased damage. Okay, this just means that her burst just does like a bajillion damage. It's basically a nuke at this point. Holy crap. All of her stuff just boosts her, her massive burst damage. Holy crap. Okay. And she gets energy back from getting a puffer too. And by the way, this combos well with her C2, which gives her more stacks. So yeah, it's it's just really great overall. Um, as for Constellation 5, it boosts her burst by three levels. And Constellation 6, oh boy, here we go. This is the Constellation that breaks meta. Let's see what it does. The damage increase from the Constellation, the Leisurely Metzli, is no longer limited to being triggered every or being triggered once every night soul's blessing so uh okay let's see what it is okay that is wait what is no longer limited to being triggered every night soul blessing so wait this means that she could just spam missiles she could spam missiles that's busted. That's busted. What? Yeah, it's no longer limited to being triggered once every night's a blessing. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> That's really dumb. Um. Yeah, uh. That's, that's dumb. She just gets more missiles. And she doesn't get, uh, it doesn't trigger every night soul blessing. Yeah, this is broken. Absolutely busted. Holy crap. Okay, well, uh, I've been flabbergasted. Um, as for my opinion on Mualani, she's great. She's really, really great. She's honestly, uh, one of the best Hydro DPSs in the game. Honestly, all of that damage, I mean, you saw the potential right there, right? Like almost 200,000 damage. She's able to do a bajillion damage. Um, she's great on vape comps. She's great on basically any comps that use hydro. She's just great overall. I would say she's a pickup, um, honestly. And as for uh, traveling through Natlin, she's also a great pickup too in that regard. So yeah. Well, anyways, if you do guys enjoy the uh, test run video and if you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, it really does mean a lot if you do support the channel. It helps to keep me motivated and making more videos for you guys. And well, 
without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, if you guys support the channel, thank you guys so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, as for the comments section, what do you think of Mulani's gameplay? You think she's great? You think she's okay? You think she's bad? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see your opinion on Mulani. And as always, thank you guys for watching this Mualani test run video. And I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.